I was stuck in traffic today for a very long time. And then I remembered that I had some buffalo wings in the back. And I was in traffic like... Psst. Scared, scared, scared. I was so happy. Those buffalo wings had to come on out and come on out. <laughs> what is more popular than the strawberry crunch popsicle? Probably the strawberry crunch cake. If you haven't had it, my goodness, where you been and where you going? So you got strawberry and vanilla rocket. And then you go a little bit further. You hit a creamy layer of vanilla ice cream. And then you get down to the center and you've got a delicious layer of strawberry ice cream. It's different. It's delicious all together. I've always wanted to do a strawberry crunch cake, but there are so many different variations. And I'm sitting here looking at everybody's variations. Girl, you a chef. Just come up with something on your own. If you haven't done so yet, I'm going to need you to subscribe. Chomp on the subscribe button like you want to chomp on a strawberry crunch cake right now. And while you're at it, press on the notification bell. I see you guys who comment and you're not subscribed. Why are you doing that? Why are you do that? So when you do that, then we can finally get started with the video. Let's go. Okay, Kaynistas, let's start off with our perfectly moist strawberry supreme cake. <laughs> I'm going to be using this tasty strawberry box cake mix. This is pretty typical in this recipe. I'm going to make it as it states on the back of the box. Very simple. I have my eggs, my water, and my oil all in the bowl. Mixing it up to perfection. I do love this cake. To make your strawberry cake from scratch, you would just have your vanilla cake batter. And then you can add some puree strawberries in there. You know? Keep it simple. Keep it sweet. One of the best cakes that I've ever made had a lime jello in it. I would definitely recommend adding a strawberry jello along with the strawberry puree. That would be exquisite. And if you want to take that a step further, there are strawberry extracts out there. You just have to find them. So I'm also going to be using my own vanilla cake mix for this, which you can find throughout my videos. Just check the description. And now that I am perfectly content with my old school rustic, looks like it's been in the family for the past 200 years, cupcake pan, I am ready to fill my cupcake liners with my cakey deliciousness so I'm gonna be doing a layer of strawberry batter a layer of vanilla batter and another layer of strawberry if your vanilla batter isn't very very vanilla -y, then it really won't matter because you know I just want it to be like ice cream I'm trying to stay true to the ice cream treat here or the novelty as it might say on the package once I have my cupcake pan filled up I'm going to bake those in a 350 degree oven for 17 minutes now let's move on to our magical strawberry filling I'm gonna take some fresh strawberries and I'm gonna put them in a blender with just a couple tablespoons of sugar this cake is gonna be surrounded by sugar so I really don't feel the need to add a lot of sugar I'm going to blend that and then also add a couple tablespoons of cornstarch I want to cook this and make it thicker and I am gonna add a couple tablespoons of heavy cream as well because it is a strawberry ice cream dessert so I want this to be somewhat creamy it doesn't really matter though you know, that's just me taking it a step further for my own mental sanity. Um, I want this to cool down pretty fast because I'm pretty much ready to start my cupcakes and I can't wait. So I'm going to pour this out on a sheet tray. A larger surface just helps this to cool down faster. And then I'm also going to add in some fresh chopped strawberries. I just feel like whenever you have a strawberry filling, part of the excitement is actually having that strawberry crunch, like real actual strawberries, so that everybody knows, look, little mama, I didn't get this from a store, I made this at home. Now we're going to move on to probably one of my favorite parts here, the cream cheese frosting. You can find my recipe in a separate video. Cream cheese, butter, vanilla extract, and confectioner sugar. 
my cupcakes look perfect, of course, because, you know, we started off with box cake mix. You can't really go wrong there. And I'm going to core them using my corer. It's so funny. No matter how hard I try, I'm usually off center when I core my cupcakes, which can be exciting because you know what? You may be expecting something in the center, but that may not be what you're going to get. And that's pretty cool. It's like, oh, there's nothing here. There's nothing here. But wait, I took a bite to the left. Surprise, strawberry filling. And that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to fill all of our cupcakes up with that strawberry filling. And you can buy strawberry filling if you really just are like, look, I don't have the time nor the energy to do any of this from scratch. Once I fill all of my cupcakes up, I'm going to top them with my cream cheese frosting. I don't know why I did this perfect swirl because I ended up just ruining it anyway, but I, at this point, wasn't quite sure what I wanted the cupcake to look like yet. So just flow with me, just go with me. People usually use Oreos for the crumbs. Some people actually make their own crumb topping from scratch. I'm going to do a little bit of both. Now you are going to have to watch the previous video to see how I made this strawberry crunch. This is a special, special strawberry crunch. I've got the homemade vanilla crunch, the semi-homemade strawberry crunch, and the Oreo. Now I'm just showing you guys that you could either sprinkle your crumb topping on top of the cupcake or you can actually dip your whole cupcake in the crumb which I feel like is somewhat necessary here because when you bite into one of those strawberry crunch popsicles I mean it's surrounded everybody's gonna get some of that crumb so I feel like we should do the same thing for the cupcake so I'm gonna roll all of my cupcakes completely messing up my perfect swirl but it doesn't matter because it's worth it into that crumb topping See, I really like the way that looks, but then my conscience is like, just do it. Just dip it, roll it, roll it, and twirl it. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. And you guys, the combination of the cream cheese frosting and the crumb and the strawberry filling and the strawberry vanilla swirl cake is just about as exciting as the popsicle. And if you don't believe me, you just got to be quiet and you got to try it out for yourself. Now, the one thing that I notice about all of the strawberry crunch cupcakes that I see, they never look pretty to me. They're just pretty much rolled in the crumb topping. I never see any type of couture and it always makes me want more. I'm going to add my own little cute little swirl on top and then a slice of strawberry just a little bit of couture you know now I'm content I would even put some gold on that swirl because these are an expensive premium classic cupcake I mean come on look at it it, it just looks exquisite that's it you guys that is my Mauritius couture strawberry crunch cupcake I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope that you give it a try and I hope that you stay tuned for my strawberry crunch cake because I have to. I'm taking a slice of that, period. I am. Couture and strawberry crunch cupcakes. Bye guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Leave a comment down below so that I can feature you in the next video. The Cagnista or Cagnisto comment of the day goes to RJL Gaming who says 24th like. If you went through and liked that many of my videos, you are the real MVP. Thank you. The best all around. Nothing's ever gonna get you down. I appreciate you for commenting. You are great and I love you. Thank you. See you guys soon. Bye, cake nieces and cake nistos. You're the best <coughs> around. Did you notice the lip quiver? Around.
that means that I'm really singing. 